Hey everyone, it's time for another episode of Midcard Mana. And we got over here the loose cannon. So um, it's been a while. And I, in fact, forgot to do, I didn't forget, but you know, I haven't had time to do November. And then I also got my December box. So we're going to do two at the same time. Or actually, you know, one after another because that makes more sense. Let me just see which one is the one that came first. Um, you know what? I have no idea because I was a fool and put, threw them both on my bed. So we're going to go by what the card says. And you know, um, I'm sorry I haven't been recording lately. I've been working almost every night and getting out late because um, people that work at the airport uh, ain't loyal. Those hoes ain't loyal, so, you know, it's hard to get out any bit early. Uh, so, yeah, it's like 10.30 at night as I'm doing this, but I'm here to do content for you. Shitty content, because this is off my phone and with a lamp. But yeah, alright, so November. I miraculously was able to open it correctly. So, November's Pressing Crate just is November 2020 crate so we'll see what it ends up all this stuff ends up being so let's see I got <laughs> I love these enamel pins so I got a Latino heat enamel pin oh I got a I got a big I got a brawler buddy I got a Colt Cabana brawler buddy boom boom Colt Cabana and my micro brawler is Coco Beware that's cool actually oh it's a little bit too. All right, let's look at what my book is. S is for suplex. Is it wrestler ABCs? Let me just see. It is. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. A is for announcer. The crowd screams aloud with glee when she tells them to get loud for what you're about to see. And it's Colt Cabana and Brian Cage. Ah, oh, this is cool. What a what a what a treasure. I love this. This is this is so cute. Oh man, I'm gonna enjoy actually looking through this later. Alright. So let's see, my eight by twelve or my eight by ten is Dr. Britt Baker DMD. That's cool. I don't think I have I've had her before, so I'm glad to get a Dr. Britt Baker. I've really enjoyed what she's done over the past year, so I'm I'm glad to have an eight by ten. All right, and let's see what my two shirts are. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh man, this is my second uh, major wrestling figure, major wrestling figure podcast shirt. So that's got, um, of course, uh, Matt Cardona, Brian Myers, Chelsea Green, and the Swogs. And I actually really like Toy Story uh, style shirts. I have another Sami Zayn or El Genetico one, or Sami Zayn slash El Genetico one. And then this second shirt is <laughs> a Jericho Demo God shirt. I like that style. It's very, uh, comic book. Alright. Oh, and the recap. I'm just so excited to get to my one that came today. Alright, so. We got the 10% off, always. So, a Brawler Buddy Colt Cabana. My Eddie Guerrero lapel pin. The Britt Baker 8x10. The S is for Suplex Kids book, which is so cute. I love it. The Coco Beware was my micro brawler. And then the two shirts, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast and the Jericho shirt. So let's put that in there. That was November. Let's put that here. If I can, you know, do anything correctly. It's been a long, it's been a long life guys I'm done <laughs> it's been a long life alright okay and then for December 
Let's throw my two on the side. Okay, let's look at a pro wrestling tease behind the merch DVD, which has a bunch of people featured in it. Probably a lot of their uh, best-selling merch people. So, of course, the Young Bucks, um, Colt Cabana, Cody, Omega. On the back, there's also Chris Hero. So, that's pretty cool. I'm interested in this, actually. This is probably really cool. Uh, of course, everyone, if you're a wrestling fan, you know Pro Wrestling Tees. You probably have a bunch of merch in Pro Wrestling Tees aside from, you know, the boxes. But... I've always thought their story was really cool as to how they got started up, so definitely, definitely cool. I like that, I like that idea, that, um, not idea, but that DVD. I love this. This is cool. I like, I like this, uh, for wrestling tees magnet. I always like magnets. So let's see, who is my... Micro Brawler Tatanka. Oh man, I was literally thinking about Tatanka earlier today, actually. So this must have been fate. I must have manifested it. I must have known that something Tatanka was coming to me. Uh, for what it's worth, I was thinking of Tatanka because I was thinking of um, wrestler pun names, like when you put them together. Uh, like this one dude on Twitter has. So I was thinking Tatanka Michinoku. I don't know why that just popped into my head. Anyway, my enamel pin is Danhausen. It's very good Hausen. Very evil Hausen. I like I like that pin. That's that's a good pin. Oh, let's see what my 8x10 is. Okay, my 8x10 is Lex Luger. And there's two. Oh, and TJP. This is funny because I actually like don't like Lex Luger. <laughs> and I've been kind of uh, put off by CJP recently. But that's okay. I'm always glad to get 8 by 10s They are collector items for a reason. And, you know, maybe one day I'll come back around. Who knows? Who knows with me? This is You're talking to a person that used to not like AJ Lee. So it's hard to tell with me. Let's put this stuff back in here and let's look at what my two shirts are. So it's an Ultimate Warrior shirt. I actually have another one too from a pro wrestling crate and I haven't gotten around to using it because I'm terrible, but I think actually this one is a much more recognizable Ultimate Warrior shirt. So I think I'm gonna give it to my grandpa because he, he likes a lot of the old school stuff. He was uh, super stoked when Ultimate Warrior came back a couple years back right before he passed away. So yeah. <clears throat> Cool, cool. And then my second shirt is a Bully Ray. Ooh. I like this shirt. I like this shirt. This is a good shirt. Oh. I dig it. Oh, man. That's cool. That actually makes me really smile. I like that. I don't think I actually have any Dudley Boys or Bully Ray shirts, so I'm glad this is my first. All right. So let's look at what we got here. So, the Pro Wrestling Tees Magnet, which I liked. It was very it was very retro in 80s. I got the two 8x10s. So, the TJP and the Lex Luger. I got the Danhausen, very good Housen lapel pin. I've got the Behind the Merch DVD from Pro Wrestling Tees. My micro brawler was Tatanka. Not to be confused with what uh, the name I'm going to claim as Tatanka Michinoku. Um, and then my two shirts. That Hardcore 5150 Bully Ray shirt and the Always Believe Ultimate Warrior shirt. Another very cool crate by Pro Wrestling Crate. And I'm sorry I'm doing two videos at once. This video is going to be super long. And by super long I mean 10 minutes which is longer than videos I watch because I'm tired and, you know, by the time I get home, all I want to do is uh, sleep. But yeah, there are... That is my two person crates. And they get here faster than pretty much anything else that I try and ever buy. So this is Loose Cannon signing off. Sorry to do a video so late and so bright and 
with everything, you know. It's a rough time. Anyway, this is loose, loose, loose Cannon signing off.